we need to make a hole here and here and here and let the pus out and then make a cut here and then after that you get oral antibiotics, antibiotic cream, anti-inflammatory and painkiller. <sighs> and I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Morning, friends for the past three days I've been laying in this bed I didn't leave it except for the occasional um, toilet interruption and the reason for that is my foot let me tell you what happened and let me tell you what yesterday the doctor said and why I will do exactly the opposite. This is what a normal, healthy foot looks like. And this <laughs> is what my left foot looks like. It's probably double the size. It's like crazy. After staying in bed for two days, we thought Okay, maybe let's consult a doctor to get a yeah, just some some opinion. Although, as you probably know, I'm not a huge fan of the medical establishment. But yeah, with that light side, okay, let's let's see. He came in. I want to share with you what happened. He came. He didn't do any diagnose, any like, okay, wow, well, asked, asked questions like how, wh what happened and how was the, the whole process going. He saw that and he immediately was like, okay, we need to, um, we need to put little holes to massage the, uh, the pus out. Pus is a new word that I learned. In German, it's Eiter. It's the yellowish liquid that comes out of a wound. I use this word <laughs> probably more often in the past three days than in my entire life before. And um, he said, okay, we need to, we need to like make it come out as soon as possible. And uh, even the deeper layers that they are like not, that are not on the surface, we need to cut open the, the skin and to get this out as well. And then you need to take oral antibiotics, antibiotic cream, um, anti-inflammatory, and painkillers. <laughs> he brought a whole array of, of shit. And I was like, somehow that doesn't resonate. And I, asked just, I just asked questions. I was like, yeah, but w the pus is already coming out when I put the foot in hot water and after that like Mara like gently massages the foot it's already coming out so why do we need to rush and he was like yeah 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 it's it's good it's 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 better to to make it out make it come out as quickly as possible and he did give give any like really qualitative answers and then the more I asked, <laughs> finally in the end, he said, um, yeah, the thing is like, we need to get it out as quickly as possible because if we don't do that, this infection will move towards the whole foot, up the foot and maybe into the leg. And then it will be a really, really intense and really, really uh, complicated um, surgery that you need to go through because like the pus is currently only on the bottom of the of three of the feet and he said like if we wait this will spread throughout the whole foot and in this moment i was like okay thank you let's stop this procedure i will pay your bill and then 
you can go back to the hospital and I'm gonna do my thing and over the next days I want to take you on this journey of treating this foot that for standard medical professionals is an emergency how I treat that in a completely different way according to according to the five biological laws a topic that I immersed myself in over the past months I even set this as one of my quests with our custodians in Poland and at the same time with everything that's going on in my life with the building of custodia I didn't prioritize it and in my twice weekly quest sharing that I'm doing with the custodians in Poland I always say like okay I'm not diving into this quest right now because I sense that the other quests are more important and I will prioritize this again in December when the first phase of Custodia is, was built. But somehow, universe or life or whoever wanted <laughs> for me to dive into this topic um, now. And I cannot not do it, given the condition of my, of my foot. passiert was in seinem Körper. Lendenwirbel. Ja, genau. Ja. Er leidet kein Konflikt. Papa, hier rote. Rot und weiß, genau. Das ist der Normalfall von den meisten Menschen. Er leiden ganz viele Konflikte gleichzeitig. Papa, so. Ja, genau. Hä? Ja, ja, genau. Ich weiß gar nicht, wie ihm geschieht, ne? Das ist der Normalfall. Papa, so. Ja. Ganz viele Konflikte gleichzeitig. Ganz. Hm. I played a little bit with Leo. I ate my first meal, first proper meal in three days. Half a watermelon, which felt nice for the past three days. I wasn't hungry at all. I was just in fasting recovering mode. And I'm studying the five biological laws. Yes. Why is that so important for me right now? Let me share with you what the doctor <laughs> that <laughs> inspected my foot said. I asked him a lot of questions. I asked him, why, why cannot we just let the pus come out like naturally, organically? Why do we need to cut everything open and remove it right now? And he said, yeah, 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 it's better to do that now uh, because, uh, because of the infection. Like three days ago on the photo you showed me just one foot, uh, there was a, a pus coming out. And now already three. And if we wait, the whole foot will be infected. And it will travel on the upper part of the foot up to the leg and will be a very, very painful surgery to take everything out. And in this moment, I realized on a deeper level what I already know, that the standard medical narrative of there is an evil, there is an evil inside of our body be it a bacteria or a virus or whatever, there's an evil inside and we need to go to war. We need to cut it open and we need to remove it because if we will not do it, it will just spread like crazy and do a lot of harm. This is the at the core of the, of the mainstream medical narrative. But at the core of the five biological laws, is the narrative that everything that happens in our body is part of a beautifully fine-tuned orchestra where all the components 
are contributing to the health and well-being of the whole system. All of life is dedicated to make life thrive even more. So everything, the blood, the pus, like the swollen foot, everything is there to help me thrive. There is no evil enemy inside that we need to cut and remove and fight against. It's just the infinite genius of nature at work. And my only task is to not interfere with it. Because the pus cannot spread. There is no such thing as an infection. This is just a substance that accumulated inside my foot and that wants to come out naturally. I see that just by putting my foot in a, um, in a warm towel, it's coming out. Or by, foot, by putting my foot um, in a bucket of water, it's naturally coming out. So I see like I don't, I, I don't really need to do anything, it's just coming out. So I, I see it, it wants to come out. So why force? Why rush? There's no danger. <laughs> and I know this goes so contrary to the mainstream medical like belief system. The doctor was not open to seeing it in any other way. Of course, this is what he learned in, in medical school. This is what every what the whole like industry is built upon. The whole industry is built upon intervention. The whole industry is built upon pharmaceuticals there is almost no money to be earned with people who are learning how their body works and who are just giving space for that to happen yeah and at the same time I'm not saying and this is what the past three days taught me as well I'm not saying that like classical medicine has no has no has no use case it's not valuable within the past three days, once a day, there was such an intense rush of pain. It was like the most intense physical pain I experienced in my life so far, in my 34 years. It was so intense, like, it was a, it was a, it was like a knife cutting open my foot, and at the same time a lot of ants in there, and like a huge steamroller <laughs> rolling over my foot and smashing it. This is how it felt. It was fucking painful. Something was working inside my body. And in these three instances, I took a painkiller. And I was so fucking grateful for it. Because it helped me to walk on this path, to continue to walk on this path. Yeah, so I was... I, I was like so tremendously thankful for the possibility so that I can do it that pharmacy sells something like this and at the same time I want to go I don't want to go further yeah I don't need any other support from the medical establishment so I think we use the current medical establishment for way too many things where we could just let nature do its thing but w when there is something like in a car accident I'd be very grateful for a doctor to like cut me together or for the painkiller that really <laughs> brought a huge relief <laughs> yesterday <sighs> By the way, if you're not familiar with the five biological laws, please watch my video that I made a couple of weeks ago, where I gave a little introduction into this like marvelous, marvelous piece of real science. And that's part of the beauty. You don't need to believe in anything. You can just test it. You can have an assumption and you can test it and see how your body reacts. It's like really like small pieces working together in a very like 
in a way that is where you know what happens next. If you know where you are right now and what is going on, you know what will happen next inside your body. And you can really anticipate like the whole process and you can see if this works or not. So, hell yes. I'm back into it. Like fully. Fully, 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 fully. This will be one of the major building blocks for what we are doing here with Custodia as well. Like, yeah. Really educating people on the most fundamentally, like on the basics of how does my body work. Something that most of us don't have a clue really. Like what are the different components of my body and what are their contributions to us thriving? Like, I wanna study that, I wanna learn that, I wanna master that. I wanna create a space where people come together to study that because I feel it's one of the most powerful paths that we can study for our human existence that we are on. Und dies führt zum vierten biologischen Naturgesetz, welches im krassesten Widerspruch zu all unseren bekannten Glaubenssätzen steht. Es geht aus der Beobachtung hervor, dass alle Zustände, die wir vormals für Infektionskrankheiten hielten, Symptomatiken der Reparaturphase sind. So haben wir hier diverse Arten von Husten, den Schnupfen, den sogenannten Gebärmutterhalskrebs, Hautausschläge, Tuberkulose, Herpes, diverse sogenannte Geschlechtskrankheiten, Fußpilz und andere. Doch all diesen und noch vielen mehr geht immer eine aktive Konfliktphase voraus, die man jedoch nicht bemerkte, da man dort meistens symptomlos war. Und da die besagten Symptome lediglich infolge eines gelösten Konfliktes im Zusammenspiel mit vagotonen Symptomen wie Müdigkeit und Fieber auftreten, können sie nicht, wie vormals angenommen, aktive Krankheits- oder Infektionsphasen sein. Die Mikroben, Pilze, Pilzbakterien, Tuberkel, Bakterien oder eventuelle Viren werden natürlich während dieser Prozesse beobachtet. Jedoch können sie somit gar keine Auslöser sein, sondern wenn überhaupt, dann nur Reparaturhelfer. Hast du so ein Projekt, du bist. Willst du doch Gute Nacht sagen? Ja, ich möchte Gute Nacht sagen. Na, sag mal. Aber ich habe nicht die Frisur zum Gute Nacht sagen. Gute Nacht sagen. <lacht> And in English, Good Night Friends. Good Night Friends. This, um, yeah, was a day of deeper realizing how incredibly powerful my body is. And to allow its infinite regeneration um, capabilities to just just manifest. Yeah, diving deeper into the five biological laws. Tomorrow we're gonna continue. I'll link, if you're German speaking, I'll link a resource here that is like uh, crazy for our documentary. I already watched it five times, I guess. It's great. It's really, really good. <sighs> With that being said, see you tomorrow. Let's see how this journey, and especially my food, <laughs> mm. is going to continue. Bye-bye. <laughs>